is the 2019 Beaver Tail Vengeance. And today I'm gonna show you why this might be a great choice for your next flats boat. The Beaver Tail Vengeance is an 18 foot long boat, has an 82 inch beam, 7 inches of water is the draft. You can go 90 to 115 horsepower, the live well is 30 gallons, has a 20 gallon fuel tank, I chose the 18, and the gross weight, it being a fiberglass composite boat, absolutely incredible. Let's take a closer look. One of the things I was looking for when I was looking for a flats boat is my old boat really beat me up when I'd go across a bay, like especially in Everglades City or here in Stewart, Florida. As soon as the wind would kick up to 15 miles an hour, my back was killing me for the rest of the day and the next day. So I, I wanted a boat that could make it through a bay comfortably and, and very soft and really absorb all the pressure. This is called a, a Carolina Flare and it's taken from the big boats uh, in the Cape. It's an absolutely unbelievable entry. This thing cuts through the water like a knife. If you have a three-foot chop, it'll smooth it right out. Add the cushion seats in the back and this thing is as comfortable as a Cadillac. It's definitely a first-class experience. They say that when you're looking for a boat, you got to figure out what you're going to do 80% of the time and that's what you should, uh, that's what the kind of boat you should look for if you want to go super skinny, I typically fish in two to four feet of water. I love an electric motor, so I had Beaver Tail put this electric motor on. It's a 80 pound thrust Minn Kota uh, Terra Nova. It's absolutely an unbelievable um, uh, electric motor. It has a power lock. It'll keep me in the same place in heavy wind and current. It has a remote control, so if I'm in the back of the boat and my customers are on the front, uh, the anglers don't have to worry about me getting in the way. It's about this boat, it's 18 feet long. It's 82 inches wide, so take a look. I'll come on one side of the boat, it doesn't even rock. Um, I take a lot of people out that have balance issues, um, so I wanna make sure they have a very stable platform. That's why I didn't want a narrower boat. Um, it's a very, very stable platform. Um, see the storage is absolutely unbelievable. If you turn these, they're locked. These storage compartments have very deep gutters. Every storage compartment in this boat is bone dry, it doesn't matter if it's pouring rain or you just crush through a huge wave, nothing in here gets wet. It's absolutely incredible. I'm not used to having such dry compartments. As far as fuel, there's an 18 gallon fuel tank. Uh, it's aluminum, it's removable. Uh, now we'll take a look at where you're gonna keep all your food and your drinks. This is a massive cooler. You can fit two or three bags of ice in it and have enough drinks and storage for all your food and drink uh, for a few days. Uh, you could also use it as uh, a, an ice box for your fish, but I'd rather do that in the back. Let me show you. Here we have the live well. As you can see, it's rounded. Uh, it's an incredible, beautiful piece of artwork. It functions incredibly. Sometimes I'll throw my life jackets in there if I'm not going to be using live bait. Typically I don't, but it's a beautiful thing to have. Right, so next, seating is very important. My old boat didn't even have seats on it. We sat right on the boat. Uh, so this, an incredible backrest. When you're sitting here and your back's relaxed, uh, it's incredible. The upholstery, the finish, everything is first class. You also have, you have a beautiful seat up here, very comfortable, put your feet up, and this is the king's chair right here. So powering this 2019 Beaver Tail Vengeance is a 90 horsepower, high efficiency Suzuki four stroke. You can also get a 115. Um, I went with the 90 because I do like to go skinny. This boat drafts six to seven inches. I would say we're closer to six inches when it's me and one or two other people. I get about eight and a half miles to the gallon when I'm running 4,000 RPMs and that's at about 30 miles an hour, which gives me 
a full range of close to 150 miles per tank, which will get you anywhere you need to go many, many times. We also have, you can see on the other side of the engine, a uh, power pull. That will stop me in place and anchor me into a beautiful position when my anglers are fishing on the front of the boat in up to about seven feet of water. It has a remote control that I'm wearing on my neck and I just hit it twice and it pops right up and hit it twice again and it locks me right in place. A few more key features this boat boasts are a 30 gallon insulated live well, forward large storage compartment, all hatches have deep gutters, flush mounted high grade stainless steel everywhere, hydraulic steering, under gunnel easy access rod storage that's absolutely incredible. They're 10 feet long, anodized pulling platform, uh, two aft large dry insulated storage compartments. Uh, they're 120 quart or they can be 26 gallon release wells, uh, 20 gallon removable aluminum uh, fuel tank, uh, trim tabs and a jack plate, ergonomical design uh, with waterproof switches, easy clean non-skid throughout, and the rod racks with fly rod tubes up to 10 feet long, four rods per side. Now let's talk performance. As you can see, it has a pocket tunnel and that means this thing can go super skinny and the whole shot is absolutely incredible. Uh, two, three people, even four people in the boat, it just gets up and goes very quickly. You can go across super skinny water I like to wag the tail as I call it, and this thing pops right up super easy. Pulling this boat is super easy. The pulling platform is super high, and that gives you just such an incredible view uh, to be able to spot any trophy fish. It turns on a dime and is just super easy. It doesn't feel like a big boat when you're pulling it. It's absolutely amazing. When it comes to launching this boat at the boat ramp, you literally only need to put the bottom of the tires in the water and this boat is ready to launch. It's a Ramlin dry launch trailer and it is absolutely fantastic. That's all you need to do to push this boat in the water. All right, so you saw how this thing takes off out of the water. It can take off in literally less than a foot of water if you trim it out right. Uh, top speed I've got it to is about 41 miles an hour. Um, there's more than enough room for three people. I can take three anglers in the boat for a total of four people and the boat still handles the same way it does with one person. It's absolutely unbelievable. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, check out beavertailskiffs.com or you can check out some videos on Rhino Diaries Adventures. Uh, this boat catches a lot of fish. It's like a lucky rabbit's foot. I hope you find the boat you're looking for and definitely make sure you check out a Beavertail Vengeance.